Alright everybody, last time we checked out Route 9, and now we're gonna check out Shopping Mall 9. I love shopping! Uh, yeah, so this is a nice big shopping center. Definitely pretty cool. Um, I was challenged to a Pokemon battle inside the shopping mall. That means it's a place where only the strong survive. Got it. Wow, this is some intense shopping mall. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, he's practicing being the next Clyde. I can't wait for evening. That's right, evening itself is a fever. Uh, okay. Welcome. Would you like a cold drink with your Pokemon battle? Oh, no thanks, I don't drink. Um, alright, let's see. Uh, Waitress Olin, huh? Alright, Mancino! Wow, I think I can handle that. Not too tough at all. In fact, I'm even gonna use my superpowers on it, yeah! Oh yeah, there we go. Hoo-ha! <laughs> That was just such an amazing display of power. That was a wonderful battle. Bravo. Bravo. I'm a lady. No, really? I've come to do some shopping, but I'm having ever so much trouble finding out what is sold where. Would you be so kind as to buy a hyper potion for me? I'll give you the money for it. Why, thank you. Here's the money for it. Just a hyper potion, please. Thank you ever so much for your help. Sweet, I got money. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, I don't know if you actually have to buy one. Did you already buy one for me? I did. <laughs> this isn't much, but please take it. She'll give you an energy route. Yeah, I mean, you know. You could just run off with the money, but you did the right thing. Or at least I did. There, I'll make it right. Okay, uh, yeah, so you can buy all sorts of healing items and stuff here. Standard Pokemart stuff. But you can also get the max potions here, which are, uh... Alright, the only thing it can't get are full restores, but you don't really need those right now anyway. If I were to play hide-and-seek with my Pokémon, they'd find me right away. But if I were to get lost, I'd be glad they could find me right away. Yeah, I bet. Up on this floor, we have a whole ton of different types of Pokéballs. Plus mail, for whatever reason. If ever you need a certain kind of Pokéball and you're not sure where to get it, Chances are you can get it over here. I'm gonna pick up some more Ultra Balls. Just because. Uh, again, Timer Balls, they're awesome. Quick Balls are pretty nice, and Dust Balls are good too. At least those are my favorites. Up here, hello, may I help you? Uh, the guy on the left, he sells the vitamins for 9,800 a piece. That's expensive, but it's important. Um, you know, later on when you're rich. This guy sells you all of the X items, and these things, let me tell you, they can win fights. If you're concerned or nervous about any battle, all you need to do is really have probably, eh, five to ten of each of these. And then there's some way you can win that fight, I guarantee you. If it means just stacking X defense on a Pokemon, and then a whole ton of X attacks, hey, cool, you can do that. Um, I recommend, if you are able to, buy a 10 a piece right now. The thing is, it's so nice being able to raise any of your Pokemon stats by 50% when you use the first one on it. I mean, that's just great. Use two and it's double what it used to be, or double its original. That's why they're just such useful items. I mean, even if I don't end up using them, I'll just tell you right now, if you're struggling with any kind of fight in the game, that can just be a substantial help. The trick is to lead with a Pokemon that is somewhat defensive, and then to use like two or three X defense, or two or three special, um, yeah, X special defense, depending on what the foe is using. Use those right away, and then it's not going to be able to damage you. Then heal up with a healing item, and then pile on a few attacks, or X attacks, or X specials is what I mean, and then you just proceed to sweep the rest of the team. Maybe use an X speed or two to make sure you outspeed everything, but if you do a strategy like that, well, you can win any fight. Any fight. At least I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I mean, you know, there are exceptions, but as a general rule, it's a great way to make sure you'll be able to win. 
The better the trainer you are, the more you'll find yourself thinking. That's so you can help your Pokemon partners win. Oh, I'm not that great of a trainer then. I don't think very much, dirt. <laughs> oh, well. So, there's a waiter here. Waiter Lou. Alright, Lou. Lou! You've got a Lypert on your team, or should I call it a Looper? Nah, that doesn't sound right. That sounds kind of like the movie Loopers or something. I think that was just out. I haven't seen it. I heard it's kind of nice. Kind of cool. One of the time travel movies. Maybe I'm mistaken, though, but that was the gist I got from it. So, take the Lypert out and uh, gain some experience. Yay, camera up, getting up there. Excellent. Have to fight some Auden or something. Oh, I already talked to you. My Lampin's not good at Pokemon battles, but it's great at making toast. Well, I'm glad you found a use for it. <laughs> if you want all the TMs, the shopping mall is a must visit. That's right, you should brag about coming here to the TM Collector in Mistralton City. Well, maybe I will, but I'm certainly not going to buy these TMs. They're Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. They have 150 power apiece. Giga Impact is physical base, Hyper Beam is special based. However, they'll require a turn of recharge on the turn after you use them, so they're not all that great, that's the problem. I mean, you could do just as much damage, if not more, by using just two normal attacks. Plus, then you have the opportunity to switch. In this room here, you can find this guy. This mountain of cardboard boxes, they're all full of electrical appliances we can't sell anymore. They're just going to waste. I wonder if someone could put them to good use. Yep, doesn't look like anything, but if you have a Rotom, you can actually investigate these boxes here, and then you can change its form into one of its various appliance forms. So to do that, you just investigate here with a Rotom in your party, and you'll be able to change its form. However, Rotom or not, you can pick up a Poke Doll right here, which is basically the same thing as a Poke Toy, letting you run from a fight, except it's cuter because it looks like a Clefairy. Yeah! Doesn't seem like a lot, but that is Shopping Mall 9. Your source for uh, pretty much whatever Pokemon goods you need. Alright, uh, time to head to the gym. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Wait 2 Adventure! I'll see you next time, trainers!